Okay. Hello. Hello. We're here. We are here. And it's Kids TV. It is Kids TV and it's Hear Me Roar. Roar. It's our last week actually of the series. It is. Where we've been learning about Daniel. Mm -hmm. By the way, mm -hmm. I'm Morgan. I'm Jared. And um, this so week I've been looking up some jokes. Oh. About lions. Oh. And well, I would that's like great, to. Because that's what our thing is. Exactly. I would like to share one. Okay. It's a real good one. Go for it. <clears throat> what do lions wear to bed? I don't know. Paw jamless. Oh. <laughs> oh, paw jamless. Paw jamless. I have one. Okay. Why did the lion cross the road? Why? He didn't actually. He was lying. Ah! <laughs> that's good. That's good. Love it. Yeah, good. All right. Well, we've got a game. We do have a game. Because it's game time. It's game time. The game is called Bobbleheads. So. Bobbleheads. You know what a bobblehead is? Like the <laughs> the sports players, the superheroes, or whatever that got bobbly heads. That's what they are. Well, we're gonna look like that here. We in are a about to be bobbleheads. So we each have a little. Um, Pedometer. Oh, pedometer. Couldn't think of the word. We're gonna put it on our heads. We're going to aggressively shake our heads for <clears throat> 20 seconds. Yep. Once those 20 seconds are done, we're gonna see who has the most steps on their pedometer. Is yours balanced out to zero? It should be. I would really like to um, win this one because I've lost the last three. We'll see. Is mine zero? Yours is at two. Is mine zero? No, yours is at seven. <laughs> what? I pressed it. Are we good? Is it zero? Zero. You're at zero. Oh, you're wait, at one. You're at two. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm not Clear moving. it out, and then we're gonna. You're at one. You're at one. What? <laughs> I did. Am I at one? We're at one. You're zero. Set. Go. I already feel a headache coming up. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I have to shake my whole body. <laughs> I don't want like this at all. I can just, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. I'm feeling, oh and wow. time. Whoa. Did you get really dizzy? A little not bit, quite but not really, all really dizzy. All right, don't move. <sighs> What'd you say? <laughs> Jesus. Just subtract one. <laughs> uh, you have 61. How many do I have? Two. You have 84. Whoa! Good game. Good, good game. game. That really disoriented me for some reason. I just kind of pretended Ooh. like I was being electrocuted and it seemed to work. Uh. <laughs> Were you moving your whole body too? No. Oh. Not really. Maybe. Okay. It's hard to tell. Cool. I was in laser focus. Well. For now, we think it's a good time for us to go to worship. I think so. Let's go worship. Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand. And everything around me is shaking I've never been more glad That I put my faith in Jesus He never let me down He's faithful through generations So why would He fail now? He won't
This month, we've been talking a lot about a man named Daniel.、Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the month, we heard about how Daniel and his friends got moved to an entirely different country to serve the king there, but with God's help and protection, they basically started running this place、kind of from fiery furnaces to dens of lions. These guys have been through a lot, but turns out there's even more to the story.、Mm -hmm. Daniel heard from God even when he was sleeping, and he had an interesting dream we can read in Daniel. Chapter 7, and it's pretty crazy. Let's check it out. Pause this video and read Daniel 7, verses 2 through 8. Wow, those were some exotic animals. <laughs> Certainly none like animals in our、no. zoo. Do you remember their description? The first animal looked like a lion, but it had what? Wings like an eagle. Wow. Then there was a bear with vicious looking teeth. The third one was a leopard with wings and four heads. Then the final, most frightful of all, was a lion like animal that had horns. Do you remember how many horns? That's right, ten. Ten horns. This sounds more like a nightmare than a dream. Yeah. But then something wild happened. Well, even more wild, I should say. Someone came down from heaven, and it became clear that this person was the most powerful, even more powerful than these ferocious creatures.、Mm. Everyone worshipped this mysterious figure because their kingdom and power would last forever.、Mm. Daniel said he was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and people of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. A king of all kings whose kingdom would never be destroyed.、Hmm. Do you know who that person is? <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus. In his dream, God gave Daniel a little peek into the future and what it would mean when Jesus came. Jesus would rule, all, or rule over all of these scary beasts.、Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, an odd dream like this left Daniel very concerned.、Mm -hmm. In fact, he woke up feeling afraid. Daniel wasn't sure how to make sense of these strange things he saw, but God reminded Daniel that God was with him. Later in the chapter, we learn that this was actually a message of hope at the time for Daniel and God's people, 
all of whom were forced away from their homes and were living under the reign of unfair rulers. Yeah, God was saying that one day there will be one kingdom that will rise above them all and it will be ruled by someone who would love their people, treat everyone with compassion and would be more powerful than any other kingdom that came before it. And this kind of hope made people wait for hundreds of years for such a savior. But we know that the savior everyone was waiting for was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sure, Jesus didn't come to establish a super powerful kingdom on earth like everyone thought he would, but he did something way better. He made a way to connect everyone to God and God's kingdom, a kingdom that does really last forever. Yeah, God revealed this tiny glimpse of the future to Daniel to remind him and all of God's people that God hadn't forgotten about them. That's why even though Daniel didn't know how or exactly when these things were going to happen, Daniel didn't know the specifics of who Jesus was or when he would come or even what he would do, but he trusted that God had a plan for the future. Mm -hmm. Even though life was challenging and scary for Daniel at times, he knew that God was with him. That's why our big idea today is I don't know the future, but I know God is with me. I don't know what I'm going to eat next week. I don't know if I'm going to get a puppy for Christmas. You might not know if you're going to find the best friend you've always wanted or if your parents are going to stop fighting. There are hard things in our lives and parts of the future that are scary. But unlike Daniel, we already know about Jesus and how he came to this earth to save us so we could have a forever relationship with God. Yeah. God showed Daniel a bit of the future in this dream, and we get to see a bit of the future too. Someday, and we don't know when, Jesus will come back and he will make everything perfect. There will be no more sin, no more pain, no more crying. Mm. That's something I can look forward to. Yeah. For real. It doesn't make it doesn't make everything right now okay, but it gives me hope that someday God will make everything perfect. So like Daniel, we can be okay with not knowing everything about the future because we know the most important parts. And we know that God is always, always with us. Mm -hmm. Take some time to talk about our story with your class and pray together. It's that time. Yes, it is. It's consequence time. Consequence time. Where Morgan has to eat stuff. Yes. So. I'm very excited about we've it. We've got our icky cream. Icky cream. Icky cream, Ice. ice. And our special ingredient, tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes on ice cream? Tomatoes. Ah. This can has a handy dandy little auto opener. opener. So Ooh, I'm gonna. Juicy. I'm gonna drain some juice. Oh, well, maybe I don't need to. They're, they're pretty, uh, pretty mixed in. Man, I have gotten four consequences in a row. Yeah. I At least you really get ice cream four times. Yeah, it's a joy. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> it smells like um, SpaghettiOs. Uh, you know what it kind of smells like? All of the other canned things we've eaten. <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of smell the same after a while. Ah! Sorry. You didn't flicking mean to juice spray on ya. Me. Didn't mean to spray ya. All right, make sure to get a nice tomato chunk. I got it. I got a nice tomato chunk. Ooh! It smells like SpaghettiOs. <laughs> ice cream SpaghettiOs. SpaghettiOs ice cream. Would you eat it? What's that? The orange thing? Mm -hmm. It's just a slightly less ripe tomato that they threw in there. You know, I better not eat this supposedly. There's something weird in it, so I just better. No. Okay. Here we go. You know, they say there might be up to a hundred different tomatoes all <laughs> slammed into one can. Oh. <laughs> Strong facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> you can swallow it. You got can it do down. it. I got it down. You got it? Good. Gag reflex was back. It came back really fast. <laughs> I think like, I'm just gonna put it in and swallow it. But... Do I need to try this one? Yeah, you should try it. All right. It's not the worst one we've had. Okay, that's good to know. I don't know what kind of tastes like pumpkin like or like. So much. Ah. Mm. 
They're kind of sweet. The tomatoes. But yeah. Still not good. No. Not recommended. I I agree. A lot of canned vegetables taste the same. Yeah. Wouldn't uh, recommend vegetables on ice cream. That's the of conclusion all the ones I've come to. Of all of the ones you've eaten, which one would you say is the worst? I think the peas were the worst. The peas were the worst? Yeah. Well, I can tell you, the mushrooms were probably still worse than the peas. The mushrooms were nasty. Yeah, they did look pretty bad and probably smelled the worst. They felt like a slug and they kind of tasted like a slug. So it was bad. So what have we learned? <laughs> Don't eat vegetables on ice cream. And a lot of other things about Daniel. Yeah. And God. Oh, that too. That too. Yes. Well, thanks for joining us for this series, you guys. And we'll see you next week for a brand new series. Bye. Bye.